Hi kids, my name is Mrs. Montgomery and today we're going to read Seven Days of Awesome, A Creation Tale, written by Sean Bias and illustrated by Colin Jack. Hey, where did you come from and what about me? What about Casey, Mike, Max and Zoe? What about the elephants and what about the fleas? What about monkeys, bears, lions, and trees? Have you thought of these things? Well, maybe you should. So wake up your mind, it'll do you some good. Where did the fish come or even the rocks? And who made those feet that you keep in your socks? Did life start by itself? Boy, don't be a loon. It started with someone and you'll find out who soon. Way, way back before time began, before dogs or cats or even man. God was there and he had a plan. And this is how it all began. It's out of sight. God first made the light. And why would that be? Because there's so much to see. And so I could see you and you could see me. If it wasn't for light, how dark would it be? If it wasn't for dark, you'd sleep in the light. So the light he called day and the dark he called night. God called it all good, that's the end of day one. Is that all that he made, so he's already done? Don't be silly, my friend, God has only begun. Day two is huge, and do you know why? On day number two, God made the big sky. With water above and water below, God made the sky and he made the ground low. See all the seas and see all the trees. On day number three, God made all of these. And look what a hoot, today God made fruit. Isn't that neat? Now there's something to eat. Then God with glee said, it looks good to me. So that my dear friend is the end of day three. Then on day four, God made even more, the moon and the stars outer space to explore. God filled up the skies with treats for our eyes, the highest of heights is now full of lights. Things are alive on day number five. With just a few words, God made all the birds. And not only the birds, but in the same way, he made all the fish on that very same day. God filled up the skies and he filled up the seas with fish that could swim and birds that could fly. And fish that could fly and birds that could swim. Don't ask me why, you'll have to ask him. Day six is fantastic. Do you know that it's true? Day six is the day that God finally made you. Not only you, the entire zoo too. With critters that hop and critters that crawl, some that are short and some that are tall. And God made eyes for seeing and hair for growing, ears for hearing and he made feet for going. God made us to love and he made us to live. He made arms to hug and he made hearts to give. Yes, God made it all and no one else could, all to glorify him and he called it all good. But wait, there's more, what didn't we see? With all that God made, what else could there be? On day number seven, God made what I like best. Do you know what he made? That's when God made rest.